Garney Henley is without question one of the most legendary tie cats of all time. The small town boy from South Dakota arrived in Hamilton in 1960, beginning what would be a storied football career. I knew absolutely nothing about Hamilton. I, uh, I wasn't even sure where it was. I'd never been to Lake Ontario before or anything else like that. And uh, so when I came into Hamilton the first time, coming over the mountain, just looking at the lake out there, I said, wow, I'm not sure I'll ever find the stadium. But it was pretty easy, actually, after I got going down Main Street and so forth. Henley made an immediate impact, featuring prominently in both the Ticats offense and defense, often never leaving the field. Going both ways was, was very difficult, uh, but I was younger and in good shape at that point as well, so, so it was easy. And, and I really preferred that, I guess, uh, simply because I did that in college. Uh, went both ways and uh, it, it made me uh, much more uh, intelligent about what happens uh, both defense and offensively, I think. Henley's remarkable athleticism made him one of the best players ever to play in the CFL. He earned all-star status as both a receiver and defensive back, had 56 career touchdowns and 59 interceptions, and was a six-time nominee for the CFL's Most Outstanding Player Award. He was also an incredibly consistent player playing in 216 games, the last 102 in a row. Seven of those games were Grey Cup championships. Hamilton 13, Saskatchewan 10. I had the opportunity to play with some great players, uh, some very good coaches, uh, and uh, it was sort of a peak, I think, for football in Hamilton as well. Certainly the start of a big peak anyway. The two-way player spent his entire 15-year CFL career with the black and gold developing strong relationships with both the football community and the Hamilton community as a whole. I don't think you can not be shaped or somewhat anyway about uh, the team that you play for, particularly Hamilton, uh, because the people were so into uh, knowing all the players. You know, everywhere I went, uh, I was recognized, and, and that was one of the things that it was kind of like being in my little college town that I went and also my little hometown, which was 350, 400 people. Uh, and they cared about you. And uh, if you, uh, during the game time, if you did something wrong, they'd let you know too. Uh, you see them in the street and so forth. So they're very straightforward. But I think that's the good thing about it. Uh, and. Uh, I loved Hamilton. He loved it so much that he continued living in the area in the years following his playing career, becoming a highly successful coach. I was happy. I loved the Canadian uh, life. I loved the people that I was surrounded with. And uh, my kids all grew up here. So uh, that was, uh, I guess, the big, biggest reason that we stayed here. We had a happy life and you know, we, we loved, loved the area. Despite returning to South Dakota, Henley holds a special place in his heart for the people of Hamilton and feels privileged to be one of this year's inductees. Obviously, it's, it's an honor, and uh, I, I sometimes wonder how this happened. I loved Hamilton. Hamilton was uh, probably my second home, although uh, my first home was uh, much, much smaller. And uh, I just, uh, I think I was received extremely well. And uh, like I said, I have a lot of friends there and uh, I do miss it. The Hamilton Sports Hall of Fame welcomes Garney Henley.